Hi. It's BBC Radio Lincolnshire, Hope and Glory, joined by the uh, Games Maturity Manager Dave Frackwinton. Simon Russell, we spoke to him and he says it was heated in the dressing room. Uh, yep. Yeah. Say that. How heated? It's heated. Because of the performance, the manner of the performance? Yeah, yeah, firstly I got the team wrong. Um, so before the game that I thought, um, you know, bringing you know, two or three in would give everyone a lift. Um, not really work that that way. Um, but no matter what formation you play, um, what team you play or what team you put out there, uh, there's a way to to conduct yourself on the pitch. Um, you know, I'm still in shock actually to what what I did see out there. You know, credit to Blythe. You know, let's not get away from that Blythe of excellent today. But I think uh, me and Terry could still have played today for Blythe in a numerous amount of positions. Um, when you get no no press, you know, no hunger to go and attack the ball, no hunger to go and get hurt or put your foot in where it, where it does hurt. Um, no leadership on the pitch to um, make things happen. Um, you know, to receive a pass um, in certain areas and and be the one to, to stand out and say, you know, I'll get us going. But um, you know, my, my fault. I picked the wrong team today. Is it fair to say four 0 is a kind score on games between? Oh yeah, yeah. But that that could have been ten today. Um, the first half an hour, you signed, didn't have much possession, which you probably didn't expect playing a, the formation you did, and, and actually managed to, to stop the threat of Blythe quite well. Henry was quite quiet in the first half an hour, but it was that one switch-off moment from Alice Story, the left-back, who just seemed to let the ball run through, and, and all of a sudden then you're, you're up against the wall, aren't you? Well, it started before that, um, because if you're not going to keep the football when, when, you, when you win back the ball, then, then you're not going to get a result, simple as that. And um, There's a lot of players today that give the ball away, under no press, and that, that was a that was a disappointing thing. You know, if you're under a press, then you know you expect to, you know, to be asked questions of, and you know, but the way we the way we work in training, the way we've tried to address it by looking after the ball a bit better uh, in certain areas, um, we were mal off it today. Uh, so every time you give, get the ball, you're going to give it back straight away, um, and that's what happened. You know, eventually when you give the ball away so many times, you, you're going to end up, you know, switching off and conceding. With the shifted as a bar, but the, the first goal's really poor. Um, like I said, you can't switch off at this level, and we've got slotted. Um, but for me, it was a matter of time. Um, then the second, third, and fourth obviously followed in the second half. What's it like as a manager when you're seeing your team capitulate? Um, at half time, we asked them to stay in the game. Um, you know, we made two changes at half time um, to try and um, give us a little bit of a lift. Um, but you know, we concede, um, which we've seen so many times this year. Really, when we've gone behind, we've then conceded two, then three, then four, and then again they could have scored at will. Um, to 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 give in like they did, certain players um, was unacceptable, and um, it's something I need to address. Um, something I didn't think I needed to address um, with with a lot of with the run that we've been on. But um, today's a real shock um, in terms of you know what I saw out there. It was like going back 12 weeks, and um, yeah, just to. Have that bit about you as a group to to make sure that in the position that we are, you make sure that if you concede one, you don't concede two. If you concede two, you don't concede three. Never mind four. And like I said, in the end, it could have been eight. So uh, yeah, when I when I look at leaders on the pitch or so-called leaders, I expect us to be better. And uh, there, was, there was nothing there from us today. And, and all I can do is apologise to the sports today. We, we we let them down. They've travelled three hours um, for an absolute waste of time. Um, I know you spoke a lot in the past about team spirit mm. and about you feel your side's got a, a lot of team spirit and you, you work hard for each other and, and Mark was commenting in, in commentary that he, he was looking at the players and he didn't feel there was any team spirit. Well that's exactly what I said in the changing room, you know they, they go on about you know team spirit and you know it's got us a lot of results this year, uh, you've both comment on, commentated on the games what you've seen us in that's got us through a lot of games and you know it was missing today and that was one thing I said after the game was well, if I was part of that team spirit, then I wouldn't want to be a part of it. Because there was individuals out there today, there wasn't any cohesion, there was no... It looked like there was a pub team out there that had just been put together and they had no idea. So, if you've got a real good team spirit and a good togetherness, then you don't you don't let that happen. You know, you pull people around. Um, but, yeah, you know, you know what I'm like. I'm as honest as come. They've had the praises when they need them. People have seen them play to the capabilities, and today, like you say, there's a way to get beat, and it certainly won that way. 
uh, when you say it was heated in the dressing room, did, did it? Did they react to that, or were they? Sat I, in I'm silence? not going to get involved in that, Rob. You know, um, looks like you're trying to get something out of me that you're not going to get. Um, you know, everything that stays in the changing room, I'll, I'll keep in there. Really, yeah, it's uh, it'd be unprofessional of me not to uh, to do it otherwise. Um, a quick chance of a turnaround and a, and a reaction from your players, though, isn't there? What with a decimated team at Spennymore? Listen, end of the day, the biggest game is uh, the next game, which is Spennymore, which will go there and try and try and get a result. But um, depending on Spennymore's result, our next league game's a big one. If it's not eaten, then you know, like I say, we've uh, we've missed some players today. Liam King's been a miss today. You know, Tom Davis has been really good at, down the left. Um, he won't play today. Uh, Josh Lace has been ill, um, so you know, it's not an excuse. But you know, we missed them today, and um, you know, as soon as they get them fit, uh, the better. And, you know, Lee Beavers, obviously the bench was strong today. Um, so, you know, people that aren't in the team next week, um, you know, they, they know the reasons why. Um, and it means your side have dropped into the bottom three uh, this evening. And again, it, it seems like you're, you're back's against the wall, isn't it, again? Well, I think it's goal difference. Um, we're in there, we've got games in hand. Uh, but like I say, we have too many performances like this, then it's going to be a long, hard slog. Uh, but I, I, I expect a, a response. Um, you know, it's like going back 12 weeks, to be honest, with that performance. It, it, like I said, it was a shock to me and Terry, we spoke about it in there, that that's something we thought we got over. Um, but it's come back to us today in, in some, some way. Um, so, yeah, bottom three, but I think we've dropped on goal difference. You know, there's a lot of football to play, Rob. It's, it's going to be ups and downs. We've, we've been in and we've been out, we've been in and we've been out. Um, if we'd have had the games on like we did, you know, we could have been well out of it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nothing new to us. but. Um, we've got some good players in the changing room, um, but like I said, it's uh, we need we need to regroup quickly and uh, move on. Against Trinity manager Dave Frecklington joined.